there we go. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, Sandy. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. I really appreciate you, and I'm I'm very thankful. You're the best thing that came out of 2020 for me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so um, it's it's just really good to talk to you, and um, thank you for, to all our, and welcome to all our listeners for joining us on chat with Sandy and Karen. Um, uh, we have a couple different things to talk about today. The first one is um, the Google Certified Coach program, and uh, both of us have have started it. And neither have finished, but we're just kind of um, going to give you the um, just our impressions from the program, and then we'll put all the links for everything we talk about in the description, uh, like how to get to the the program and um, some of the um, links for uh, support and questions. And you're and you're always welcome to reach out to us. Uh, to ask questions about the, the program. Um, so the Google Certified Coach program, um, both Sandy and I are educators, certified educators, trainers, and innovators. And this is something that we decided that we both wanted to pursue. And I think Sandy, you had some thoughts on why you thought it was important for us, uh, well, for you to pursue it. Um. I th yeah, I think um, we as educators have been training our staff in the past. Uh, we've listened to concerns. We've helped them. We've helped the barriers. Um, and then with this curriculum that's come out, it's now, it's identifying the skills we have. It's say, yes, you do this. It's um, something we say in Europe. Uh, a mentor, mentor, a mentorship program. Hmm. Um, so it's mentoring our teachers, and now we are recognized. Yes, I think it, why not get in another certification? Um, uh, because it's <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> why not? <laughs> I mean, what else do we have to do? Uh, no, really, seriously, we have a lot to do. Um, Yes, uh, it's developing the relationships with our our participants, our teachers, our educators that we work with every day, and um, I really like how it's it's organized into five particular areas, mm -hmm. and so that you can focus as we go through the curriculum, we're able to focus on each each section, and I like I like how that's organized. Um, what are some of the sections that uh, you've gone through? So, I mean, I've done the whole um, content. I've covered it all. I'm just waiting to do that last part, this 45-minute test. Hmm. Okay. So, so there's a test. Yes, right at the end. But I think um, I will do that maybe over the, a holiday break. I, there's no time. Yeah. Um, during, uh, I mean, it takes a lot of your time, right? Mm -hmm. Because you've yeah. been studying it over the break. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, uh, when I started it, I thought, you know, um, a couple of days before Christmas, I thought, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. This is going to be my goal. I'm going to, I'm going to get ready and I'm going to do this. So I sat down in the morning and I worked a couple hours and I have, there's this, uh, Chrome extension and I will, um, share the link for you. Uh, for everyone, but I love this Chrome extension because it reads websites to me and I can, so that way I can see the words and hear the words. And I just feel like it goes in the, the old noggin better when I, I hear <laughs> through that modality. So I, a couple hours, went to lunch, came back a couple more hours. And I thought, you know, I'm, I'm really doing pretty good. You know, I was patting myself on the back, you know, really humble about the whole thing. And I thought, I bet I'm close to being finished with this because I spent the whole day listening and reading. But I was only like done with this first section and maybe half of the second. So it, it this is going to be a significant investment of your time mm -hmm. and um, to, to go through it and to really uh, absorb 
the the content that's there because it's a, a little bit of learning theory. It's a little bit of um, just good best practice learning. And uh, so one of the sections is um, identifying the challenges. And so um, they have great activities like uh, with Jamboard, uh, how to identify the challenges that teachers are going through. And then not only that, it takes it one step further, identifying it and then how to address it. What are some areas mm -hmm. that where we can address the challenges that teachers are facing? So that's, that's one part mm -hmm. that really stood out to me. Um, one of the activities that it gives you. So it's not just a bunch of theory, but it's things you can try with your teachers to help mm -hmm. develop that mentor relationship with them. No, yeah, definitely. Um, you've said so much there. Um, it is a time commitment mm -hmm. to do the course, but if you're doing it anyway, yeah. uh, why not? Um, why not get no, uh, I, What's the word? Um, why not be identified? Get the recognition. That's the word. Yes, yes, so, yes. It's worth it. It's so, it's so worth it. I think um, because it takes the training one step farther. And I noticed that there is uh, there has been a movement actually to go from at least in the U.S. and this is specifically Texas because you can say U.S. and that means you know. 50 different, 50 different uh, ways of looking at things. So um, the, and I just lost. Don't worry. Just lost, just yeah, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So anyway, yeah, right. It's so good. <laughs> Right. I mean, of course, right. So we've talked about the, the yeah. it's not the downside, the commitment we have to put in into the, yeah. uh, this course. However, there is so much depth, information, um, uh, mm -hmm. knowledge that you can learn, and plus the forums that uh, oh. are part yeah. of it. Yes, uh, they, they aren't, but they aren't required. But they're no. there for the learner. And that's what yeah. I like too. Yeah. I, I think what uh, it also helps is the teachers will, where's usually their, uh, what do you call it? The person they complain to, whinge to. Uh, the vent, the vent. Try to vent, yeah. <laughs> but then who do we do it to? And then you yeah. have that forum you can go in and you can just speak. And it, it's really nice. Right. All right. I agree. Um, uh, so that's, uh, and, and these, the people that started the forum that started the book study and that's Jenny Maguera's, uh, courageous adventures, great ideas in that book, but none of that is required for the certification, but yeah. you would be silly not to do that because that's all support and it's all, mm -hmm helping you develop to become a better coach. So uh, although it's not required, you, you do it, you know, do that, go, go ahead. And we'll put links to all this stuff. Um, if you're, if you want to just explore, there's no commitment. It is free. There's no charge. I didn't pay anything. Yeah. Um, uh, but it helps you become a, a deeper learner and deeper uh, educator and mentor to your, uh, the professionals that you serve. And I think yeah. that you would appreciate it and they will appreciate you for taking the time and the effort to, uh, to actually explore this whole coaching cycle. Yeah. So if I can quickly talk about this uh, coaching cycle, mm -hmm. so it's called the dynamic learning project. It uses mm -hmm. a five-step coaching model, as you said, uh, one is, um, identify and understand the challenge mm -hmm. then you investigate possible strategies then you select personalized strategy and tools implement the strategy and make improvements and then um reflect. and then you go and reflect on the experience and outcomes right i think i think reflection is the most important part really yeah. Um, because I don't think you learn anything unless you realize you've learned it, you know, uh, when, yeah. <laughs> when things come up and you, 
and you have a challenge and you are able to apply the skills you've learned or, or be there for an educator, I think that reflection just really drives it home and helps you understand what's going on. Yeah, and we've all been through it, right? We've all had problems. Then we had to identify where we went wrong and make right. some strategies, make some changes, fix them, right. and then make sure they don't happen again. But if they do, we know how to solve them. <laughs> That's right. Brilliant. Good, 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 good. That's true. Um, and I like the um, the encouragement to uh, don't be afraid of failing because that's where you're learning. And so there's no, it's uh, it kind of puts you in a position of looking for areas of learning that happened from mm -hmm. a lesson that didn't work, you know. And so helping the teachers walk through that process of not dropping everything because of the internet was down that day, but understanding that there, there are challenges, but you can learn from that and, and be more prepared next time. And uh, uh, s significant, I mean, it helps you be bolder, I think, yeah. when, when you know that it's going to be all right. No, definitely. So when do you hope to, can, you, how far have you gone with the curriculum? Um, I've gone to the second section, so I'm, I'm still investigating. Oh. <laughs> um, I haven't, you know, um, I wanted, I wanted it to be, uh, over a span of time so that it wasn't, I wasn't just surface learning. Cause I have a tendency to do that, uh, to rush through things and think, oh yeah, I got this, I got this. And then when the test comes up, I realized that, no, I, I really didn't have it. <laughs> So, I, I, you know, I, I'm, and, and I think that's also if we want to bring in the, what we've learned from 2020 is um, I've learned to take my time mm. and not, not rush around so much or not f try to fill up each moment uh, with activity, if frenetic activity, and, uh, but just to un try to learn from each moment as it, as it is and it's okay to just savor something and, and really learn deeply as opposed to mm. surface level. True. <laughs> I need to do that. I think the only time I've taken out is doing nothing during these holidays. Yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, that's a good thing to do nothing. It's okay to do nothing. Yeah, but now I've got a pile of work to do. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Well, then you just then you just you know set that list and um, prioritize and and start knocking it out. Question. Okay. When you set a priority or a to lit to do list, do you choose the biggest thing first or the easiest thing first? Mm, important thing first. Like, oh my god, I have to do my marking by tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, the time <laughs> time sensitive stuff first. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like to do I like to do to alternate because I do the big thing and then I'm exhausted and I think, oh I gotta want you know, here's my list of five things I got to do. So then I pick the easiest uh, thing and I can knock that out quickly. And then I think, oh, well, this is not so bad. So you know, it kind of gives me a boost to try the next hardest thing. Okay. I was supposed to write my um, essay for my uh, course mm. over the holidays. And in my head, in my diary, I was going to do it by last week. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I seem to work better when I'm uh, under pressure. Yeah, I used to if tell I, myself that too. I <laughs> Oh, maybe we can get a poll out to our viewers. Can they work under pressure or do they really like to have things spaced out? That's a good, good question. Good. That is a good poll because, um, and I do, and I, I'm like the biggest procrastinator in the world. Um, and I know, but for me writing, I have to walk around and talk to myself for a while before I actually do the writing. And so 
Well, you know, uh, when I was going through some coursework last fall, I would be walking around muttering to myself and then my husband would say, how's the paper coming? And I, I, I'm working on it. And I'm working on it. <laughs> and, then, and then I would sit down and be able to have thoughts to write. So maybe that's part of my auditory is I have to, I have to hear the voice in my head and then I know what to write. So oh. that's just kind of a little bit insight into what Karen's goofy brain is thinking. <laughs> No, now we know if anyone sees Karen walking around talking to herself, she's working. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be one of those people. <laughs> yes. The trick is to get the uh, thoughts on the paper. Just do it. And that's usually what, what happens. The deadline is coming. And I know I just have to get these thoughts on the paper. And I start going. And the first couple paragraphs is crap. <laughs> but once I get past that, it's it just flows and it, and it, writing gets easier the more you do it. I think. Okay. Okay, I'm coming to you. <laughs> That's okay. Just start writing. Just start writing anything okay. that comes into your head, and then just delete. And then uh, at the end, just remember okay. to delete it at the end. Okay. <laughs> and don't use bad words. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So but they're in the Oxford dictionary. Some yes. of the bad so that means we can't we should be able to use them, right? Oh, um depends on what your professor thinks. <laughs> <laughs> remember, always remember your audience. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> If your professor cusses like a sailor, then it's probably okay. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, New Year's resolutions, have you made any? Yes. Yes, I have. As a matter of fact, um, I'm subscribed to Poets and Writers. It's a, it's a magazine. A paper magazine and electronic magazine, but they have this awesome um, thing they send out every week. It's called um, Write. Um, oh my gosh, lost it again. Okay, see, I need to eat breakfast. I have no brain power. Oh my god. So anyway, um, uh, though the time is now. That's what it's called. The time yes. is now. Yes. <laughs> So um, what the time is now is a, a poetry prompt, a fiction prompt, and a nonfiction prompt. And they give you, uh, and it comes every week, so you have a week. And for the whole year, you'll have various kinds of prompts. So you can, so it'll give you time to work for one day, or if you want to work on your poem a couple days, or or your nonfiction or fiction, but it's fun just to read them and uh, to kind of get an idea of some ideas on what to think about. So I'm, yeah, that's what I'm going to do this this year. Is the time is now? Is is right? I'm going to actually write the thoughts that are in my head on the paper. It may okay. not turn into anything. It may, but uh, at least I'll be writing in some poetry, nonfiction, and fiction. And that's three different kinds of, of things for me. So nice. I think I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. How about you? What is your resolution? Um, I don't really make any. Or I decided this year not to make any. Because every year I make them, I break it. But, however, I was thinking that during our chat, we sh remember January is when everyone's thinking of diets and yeah, have to be fit. Why not bring a piece of new cake every week for our chat show? <laughs> awesome. That's pretty good. But remember, in the U.S., at least in Texas, at this time it is now 1030 okay. in the morning. So what if uh, you bring cake and I bring some kind of breakfast food? Yeah. Okay. I'll probably have repeats because I am not a very exciting eater. <laughs> not really. You know, not, I, don't, I don't eat diverse breakfast foods. Um, 
but I am trying to eat a little healthier. So maybe we could do a little something. Um, I don't know. That's that sounds that sounds fun. I know. Let's do the opposite of what the world is doing. <laughs> Why not? That's right. So it's going to be eggs and bacon for me all year long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can join you at four o'clock having that. Okay. All right. We'll we'll think of something. Yeah. Some breakfast. There are definitely breakfast foods that are unhealthy. So we we'll try that. Of course, then that'll have to feed into my uh, pledge to exercise all year long to combat the uh, anti-health eating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, using our brains, you think that counts? Yes, yes. And it does help uh, to have some energy, some food in there to use the brain, as we've found twice where I've dropped the ball on this podcast. Yay. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited about this year. So who knows? We have uh, six. We have six regular listeners right now. At least six people who have subscribed. Oh, Karen can't tell the whole world. That way we got put zero on there or a couple of zeros after that. Wow. Well, yeah, but just think how much we're going to grow this next year. We're yeah. just going to gather more and more subscribers. Yay. I believe it. <laughs> And we're going to have some good friends with us to join us. Yes. Yes. Uh, in a few weeks, we're going to have Stephanie Howell. She, uh, our listeners um, may have, have seen her name around. She's an educator, I think, in Tennessee. No. Yes. No. I'm not sure where she's from, but we will be sure to find out when she visits us. And uh, also Miko Wagstaff. She has a great story. Um, uh, she and her husband are, are living in an RV traveling around the U.S. And uh, uh, she's, she's teaching and, and uh, learning all kinds of cool tech stuff. And, and, and on, she's an entrepreneur. And um, she uh, just... Uh, her red red square designs, I think, is what her business is called. Um, just so many great things. I'm excited about that. And um, who do we want to ask? We need to ask some more people. Yeah, who wants to come on? <laughs> Don't forget, we've got swag. Yes, we have swag for those that do visit us. And... Um, well, we need to develop our brand some more. And mm -hmm. so those are our, we need some chat with Sandy and Karen resolutions. Uh, grow more listeners, develop cooler swag. <laughs> 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 and um, invite well-known people. Yeah, I'm thinking that'll, that'll be it. That'll be such fun to just sit down and chat with yeah. some, some new folks. Definitely. Well, I have really enjoyed this, Sandy, and uh, happy yeah. January 2nd to you. Thank you. And to you. We're yeah. gonna, we are going to have a boom this uh, this year. So, so thank you to all our listeners out there too. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at ChatWSK1 and find us on Spotify, Google, and soon Apple. Yes. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.